okay so before setting up uh, the migrations and database and all the other stuff i want to give you a brief overview about the database structure so we are going to have a student model and so just the basic stuff so a student is going to belong to a certain class in id and a class has properties like id and name so you can add the other field as for your needs but i'm going to keep it simple and a section belongs to a certain class and it also has a name so other than that we have name email address and phone number okay maybe i don't want to keep address because we don't actually need these this, since i'm only using for demo purposes so we'll be having name email and phone number and yep that's the basic structure for the database and instead of uh, manually creating all of this stuff what i am gonna do is i'll just copy and paste the models and migrations and factories and and i'll explain to you because these are quite simple things and if you are watching this video that means you are already familiar with laravel ecosystem and defining the models and migrations are the basic stuff that we have, uh, we deal with all the time in laravel so for that reason i'm gonna just uh, give you an overview and skip the creation and setting up the setting part so for that what i am gonna do is okay so as mentioned earlier we are gonna have three models one is gonna be the classes model the other one is gonna be section and the main student model so setting up the relationships and everything is done in here as you can see so we have a class relationship and a section relationship and it belongs to a certain class and section and section also belongs to a certain class and it has many students so this has relationships and all the other stuff are, are already done and the next thing that i want to do is i want to paste the migration files so here as well we are going to have three files for three tables for the three models and okay what else do we have we also need the factories so a factory for each of the models and we also need a seeder so i'll just copy and paste that seeder and walk you through the code step by step and explain to you what it does okay so let's check out the classes seeder and here we have we are calling the classes factory and we are providing it a count of 10 so we'll be creating 10 classes and we have a function called sequence so what this is going to do is it's going to loop over each of the class factory that you are defining so in this case since we are defining 10 classes it's going to loop over each of them so it's like a for each loop and for each of the sequence what it is going to do is it's going to is it's going to update the name attribute so the name attribute is going to be class and then space and then sequence sequence index plus one so this sequence starts from uh, zero index uh, just like in for loops so the first is going to be zero plus one so the name is going to be class and then one and just like that the all the other classes are going to have the sequence from class one to ten and the has is the relationship that we are providing to it so each class has a section and okay has many sections actually and in this case what we are doing is we are going to create two class two sections for a single class and we are providing a function called state so the state is going to be applied to each of the sections as well and to the state we are providing a new sequence so what sequence does is it will apply these attributes one by one so let's say uh, we are pro since we are creating two sections so for the first section it is going to apply this value and for the second section it is going to apply this value so let's say we have we had four sections and in that case for the third section it would again apply this section a value and then section b so the sequence is going to be applied to each of the values that we iterate through so let's restore the count to two and so for each section again we are providing a has function so a relationship and for each section we are going to define five students and for each of the students we are again providing the state function and to the state function what we are doing is we are passing in the attributes and also passing in the section that we just defined in here so from the sections 
factory so that section is gonna be passed in here and from that section what we are doing is we are applying the class id from the relationship provided by section so the class id that this section has is gonna be applied to this student factory okay so that's it that's everything this factory class is doing here and at the end we are calling the create method so that's the flow and let's go ahead and first migrate the migration files and then we'll also run the seeder so let me just remove the sidebar and what i am gonna do is let's just call artisan migrate fresh and then seed and okay we also need to do one more thing that is in the database seeder so in the database seeder we are not executing anything so here what we are going to do is we are going to call the classes seeder and that in turn is going to call the all the factories and everything okay let's save the database seeder and finally call the artisan migrate fresh and then seed command and okay it is it migrated the files and then also run the classes seeder so let's go ahead and check out our database and see whether everything was migrated or seeded successfully okay so we have a classes table and class 1 to 10 each with the id of 1 to 10 and we also have sections and each section a and b so for class 1 class id of 1 the section a and b are defined and class 2 section a and b and so on so this thing is also working fine and lastly we have the students model inside students we have a total of 100 so as expected and class 1 section id 1 and class 1 section id 1 okay for we were defining actually five records for a certain section so this looks good okay so that's it for this part and in the next part we'll be looking at okay displaying the data so we'll be using the table component provided by splayed and display the data in the front end so let's go ahead and do that